day 16. It rained really hard last night. Um, we are a mile northbound of uh, Newfound Gap in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We're doing one of the only climbs of the day, which is awesome. Some of the other climbs are small. We, uh, we stayed in a shelter called Mount Collins. We got there at 8 o'clock last night. Um, I got to take back some of the some of the pedestrian comments I made two nights ago about the Smokies. Going through, going over uh, Clingman's Dome, that six mile stretch up and over, that was really, really tough. Super rocky, super steep, lots of ice, lots of water. Took a long time too. We ended up doing uh, 19.1 miles yesterday, plus a half a mile to get to the shelter, plus 1.1 mile to get from the other shelter to the trail. So this is what the trails are looking like. Just this is just the climb. We got another 400 vertical feet to go, maybe another mile and a quarter, like this, and then we're gonna hit shelter number one. And we're going to continue on. Uh, we're going to end up doing a total of 16.4 today. A couple things I really like. That's the sun and the lack of wind. This is the first sun that we've seen today. And the wind stopped uh, around uh, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock this morning. So makes everything really pretty. Whew. We're right by ice, I think it's called Ice Cold Spring Shelter. So I'm gonna stop there. I mean, there's water everywhere, but I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna get some water. Make myself at home to the privy, I think. And then we're gonna keep on trucking.
foggy. That's for sure. Making it for a pretty, pretty day to hike. beautiful in here right now. All the colors are really, really bright. You can hear me sloshing through. I've just been cruising the river all day. The rain stopped hours ago, but there's still a lot of water on the mountain. So that's what you see here, just cruising, rolling down. Can I sit down? No. Just help me get all this shit up. Can we hold that this button off? On, the, on the right. This one? the lower one. Whew. I just busted my ass. Right on a right on the edge of a very steep hill, mountain, I guess. I was filming and then I uh must have not been paying attention and I stepped on a slip, slippery rock and went down as I'm sure you saw. <laughs> I guess I, that's one thing you need to be careful of. There's a sign back there that says, parents, please watch. Oh, please control your children. It's because this area, people fall and they die. <laughs> anyway, back to foggy. Foggy hiking. Um, we got Peck Shelter 6.1 miles ahead of us here. Uh, it's called Peck's Corner, I believe. That's where we're going to be staying. Um, we've been really trying hard to, uh, you know, stay in the shelter. And um, oh, this is cool. You got to see this. We've been, yeah, we've been trying really hard to stay in the shelters. Uh, just for the sake of time savings and with the the rain that we had last night um you know you have to find time to air out you have to find like an hour to air out all your stuff that's about what it takes to dry out your tent your sleeping bags all of your clothes like your liners everything you have to put everything out take they dry in about 30 minutes and it takes about 30 minutes to pack everything back up so in lieu of doing that you can stay in the shelter and um, yeah you stay in the shelter all you have to do is pull out your sleeping pad maybe a, a floor liner and um, your sleeping bag and it's really nice last night we had to sleep on the floor um, I can't remember the name of the shelter we stayed at because I'm still a little shook up right now but it wasn't bad at all. It was actually really comfortable. And they're, it's cool because these, these um, shelters have fireplaces. So someone had a fire going last night. Uh, maybe one of these evenings I'll, I'll, or one of these days I'll shoot a shelter. I try not to bring my camera in there because last night there were like 12 or 13 people staying in the shelter plus us on the floor. But it's like, it's sweet. You feel like you're in a, you feel like you're in like an old timey, like smoke lodge kind of thing. It's it's pretty uh, pretty rustic and it's quiet. Everybody goes to sleep pretty much before the sun sets. Unless you're us, we get in right at sunset and then we cook dinner and then we're typically the last ones to bed. Here's the view of the day. Whew. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's just 
we're just in the clouds right now. I think we're up above 5,000 feet. There's Nibbles working her way up this nice little mountain. Well, we'll check in in just a little bit. Well, all this talk about the convenience of shelters, um, of right out of uh, Newfound Gap today, which is I think seven or I don't know how many miles it is from the shelter we're going to. <clears throat> there was a, a family that pulled on and they're, they were uh, hell-bent for leather, if you will, <laughs> which means they were really pushing it hard um, to get up the mountain and get in front of us. And uh, we let them pass at a shelter, which they kind of looked at and scratched their heads at. So we think that that family is going to try to take up some shelter space. Well, I hate to be greedy, but I'm not getting off the trail until we get into hot springs, which is, I don't know, five days away, six days away. So, and I don't want to be working again um, on drying for several hours in our en route. So we were on a climb and they started creeping up on us because we were stopping for water and uh, Nibbles dispatched me to race to the next shelter, which is from where we were, it's 3.6 miles. And uh, put our stuff out so that I get, our, get at least two spots, even if it's on the floor. <sighs> Hate to do that. You know, in the, in the Smokies, unless they have a reservation, uh, through hikers, have first dibs on shelters, which is kind of greedy, but sometimes you know why you want to be in a shelter. So I'm hoping I can just keep my pace up and uh, pretty much smoked everybody coming off that mountain or coming up the mountain. Um, I've got some pretty good power going up hills if I want to let her out and use it, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's why I'm sweating and cruising at high speed. It's been an awesome day. I love this cloud hiking, especially in the Smokies. The Smokies are beautiful. Um, wouldn't have it any other way. It's just been an amazing day. Trails, even though it's full of water, it's been pretty easy. Uh, yeah, here, have a look at it. The clouds, the fog, the color the water. I mean, happy Friday, people. That's what it is today. It's Friday. And see, that's the other thing, too. There were about a thousand people, literally a thousand people at Newfound Gap. And we sat on the, this wall to eat lunch. And I kid you not, we were sitting there talking to each other. Then we turned and looked down the wall. And there must have been 150 people that sat down on the wall after us and ate lunch. It was totally awesome. So... Everyone's out to enjoy their weekend, even though the weather sucks. Um, shout out to Gordon and his wife. They're from China. I don't know if they're going to be able to see this because he said they don't. They can't use YouTube in China or Google. But he does have this Huawei phone that takes amazing pictures. I mean, it looked like he took a picture of us yesterday. It's got four eyes on it, and it looked like a studio. Looks like somebody edited it right out of a studio. It's phenomenal. Anyway, shout out to you and your wife, Gordon. Good to see you again. We saw him yesterday at our 200 mile marker, and we saw him today at the Newfound Gap. There's some really nice folks. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. We'll see how this, uh, this hike goes. So I'm cruising for a long time, going fast. That white blaze. <clears throat> it's the first white blaze I've seen in probably a mile and a half starting to get a little worried but the trail condition you know been on a lot of trails in my life and this thing it definitely has a certain wear to it that that's very consistent and uh on a day like today there aren't a lot of people out hiking uh so to see the uh number of footprints as well i just decided to keep going but yeah at one point the blazes just quit and uh yeah i was hoping i was thinking to myself geez 
Because normally, if there's going to be a trail split or a turn in the trail or a sign, you'll see double white blazes, which, which indicate that there's something coming up. And I haven't seen anything like that either, so... It's still a beautiful day. Look at this, this sweet ridge here. So this is one side of the ridge. And then here's the other. It's crazy, man. Or woman. Man or woman. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Out here. Just cruising. Check this out. An old school landslide. It's crazy. These conditions right now are pretty awesome. The double hash. I mean, something's coming. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> huh. Pex Corner Shelter. 0.4 miles. That's where I'm going. All right. Well, 0.4. Last time we did 0.4 miles on one of these little, uh, shelter trails it was really really easy really flat so maybe that'll be the same thing today it doesn't look like anyone from the swiss family robinson is catching up i didn't mean to be sound greedy or anything but man those people just had a steely look to them <laughs> today they like I, I was out in the in the woods doing my business when I popped back out on the trail. I was definitely cruising um, at a pretty good speed, and uh, man, they were just nipping at my heels. So we let them go by, and they kind of went by in a in like a rush, like they were trying to get somewhere. And they kind of pointed at the shelter we were hanging out at when we let them go by, and they're being kind of you know critical and stuff. So course you know nibbles was like I, I think they're trying to i think they're trying to take shelter space um you know if they have reservations they do have the right to shelter space though so if they come in and they've got reservations then i'll give them my spot i'm not too worried about it but if uh yeah if they don't and they just want to go lay in there and you know just kind of hide and not give up their their spot um then Check out that monster. And there have been some beautiful trees in the last half mile. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get in there first, put my stuff out, brush my teeth, put my headphones out, make up the spot for the wife. I'm gonna sit outside and cook and wait for people to start coming in. And I believe the wife is probably about, uh, probably about an hour back. I actually cruised this thing a little bit faster than I thought I would, so super cool day anyway thanks for watching i don't know if any i know i've got like 11 subscribers which is awesome or we have 11 subscribers um but again this is just you know general information this is for the family and friends so you know if you're if you're interested keep on watching or check in once in a while because we'll be out here uh, god willing for 150 160 days at least so we'll see you later